Why Republican Leaders Suck In 2024, the entire Republican Party's leadership sucks. Independent, thoughtful, well-spoken women are targeted for destruction by the corporate media. Why? It's not a matter of empowering women. These women found out that it is the ideology that comes first, not women's rights. The concept of my body, my choice, is a political slogan, but is it a slogan that is a lie? My body, my choice, anger over U.S. Supreme Court ruling. Joe Biden's old-fashioned pro-choice message still works. Activists should get off his back. So what is it that's phony about this slogan? It's quite simple. People forget that Joe Biden ordered vaccine mandates for all Americans. Your body, Biden's choice. In his most forceful pandemic actions and words, President Joe Biden on Thursday ordered sweeping new federal vaccine requirements. Private sector employees, as well as health care workers and federal contractors, Biden sharply criticized the tens of millions of Americans who are not yet vaccinated. We've been patient, but our patience is wearing thin, Biden said, and your refusal has cost all of us, he said. The unvaccinated minority can cause a lot of damage, and they are. Your body, Biden's choice. How is it that people so easily forget this? Because there is not an opposition party in Washington, D.C. pushing back against a single premise of the Biden-Harris 2024 presidential campaign. The Republican National Committee, the RNC, the Republican leadership in the House of Representatives, and the Republican leadership of the Senate. They offer no pushback at all against the Biden premises. Look at this, Bloomberg. How soon we forget. Biden orders shots for millions, calls unvaccinated a threat. Federal workers to face dismissal if they aren't vaccinated. Companies may be fined if they don't require shots or tests. This is the man protecting women's rights. Are you kidding me? How many employees have hospitals lost to vaccine mandates? Mandate announcements really kicked into gear when the Biden administration made workforce vaccination a requirement. Most health system leaders and professional organizations have been supportive of the requirement, with some describing vaccination as the logical fulfillment of the ethical commitment of all health care workers to put patients as well as residents of long-term care facilities first. You have it. There it is right there, folks. The rights of women do not matter. Your bodies do not matter. What comes first is the Democrat ideology. Women do not come first. Your bodies, Biden's choice. And what do we have in the Republican leadership? Morons, absolute morons, who sit on their thumbs and watch Joe Biden attempt to define the entire 2024 presidential race on his terms. There's no pushback from any GOP leader. There's no fight. Nobody there to point out, hey, Joe Biden is the one who wanted to tell you what you had to inject into your bodies. No, there's nobody to fight back against Joe Biden because Republican leaders suck. Joe Biden may be a moron who says, your body, my choice. And he may be able to say he's the champion of women's rights and women's bodies. The problem is, as long as we have Republican leaders who don't fight back or push back against any premise of the militant left, we might as well not even have a second political party in Washington, D.C. Thank you.